end here, we've got to do some uh, alterations so we can fit the uh, 200 TDI Discovery radiator frame and intercooler in this place. At the moment we've got the turbo diesel radiator here, all right, and just as a gauge, I've refitted the slam panel. Um, and that is, as near as down it, level to the top of the slam panel, okay? Now, when we put the 200 TDI uh, radiator frame in, what we'll find is it'll actually sit proud. So we've got to remove that amount off the bottom mount down here, and uh, so we can bring this down, okay? This is where you need to weld, or get somebody to weld for you. Just cut these off, weld them back in place, and then um, put two pegs on the top of the frame. Um, once that's done, all right, we're ready to chuck all the piping in. And uh, that is probably, other than chucking the engine in, is uh, the most skillful bit, all right, because you need to know, you need to weld. Place where you can get all the way around it on both sides, all right. So, a matter of cutting them off, cutting them down, dropping them in. However, I'll deliberate, just mark it not with pencil or anything, um, stamp it with something so you know where the centers are, all right. It's either that or cut them down, fit the frame into place, and then tack it into place so you know you're happy that your radiator frame's in the right place first, yeah. Um, the next thing to do is to fit the top brackets, which hold, which will hold this frame in place, um, and then use the fittings off of the side of the frame to make the two pegs up. Unless you want to steal it off this right out here, and I wouldn't advise it. I'd leave this as it is. Somebody might want that, unless it's knackered. All right. Um, alternatively, you could weld a couple of bolts on the top there, but that looks messy. So, right. We're going to get on and uh, get the frame in, measure it, um, cut these off with the angle grinder, shrink them down and weld them back on again. I'm using a MIG welder on this. Um, stick weld is probably better for a domestic uh, situation, alright? Um, stick will also weld for shitty metal as well, alright, so it doesn't have to be that clean. However, I've got use of a MIG here, so I'm going to use a MIG. Oops. As you can see, there's a fair difference here. So, uh, what we'll do, measure it. I'll make that about 30 mil that I've got to take off here um, for this to fit properly. If you noticed, I've actually taken the radiator and the intercooler out of the frame, it makes it easier to move about for now. Um, but be the last consideration to get this sorted first. No need to remind you, uh, gents and possibly ladies, that uh, with cutting, grinding, okay, um, don't forget to protect yourself. That's gauntlets, leather gloves, skin covered, and uh, well fitting goggles, okay? Vital. I use a hat as well to uh, stop the sparks taking what left I've got of my hair away, okay?
Okay, so what I've done is taken about 28 mil. Well, it'll be 30 mil in total off here. Okay, um, just going to cut this one down now, the other side, and then I'm going to square it up first with the radiator framing, and then tack it and weld it in place. Okay, tack it and then take the radiator frame out, and then weld it. All right. You want, yeah. If you can see that, that's how much you want to be taking off, roughly. using a welding mouth for this, this is a speed glass. All right. These are worth their money, especially at £35, which I paid for this, um, from uh, SIF. Okay. Um, speed glass, you can see until you pull the trigger and then it reacts like reactor like sunglasses and instantly goes dark so you can weld. As soon as you stop, it switches off and you've got daylight again, which means you don't have to keep opening and shutting your helmet. 